It's your boy Dope Boy TV back in this thing with some more topics on the floor, man. And if you want to be a part of Dope Boy TV gang, all you got to do is put it down in the comments, man. Y'all make sure y'all go follow me on all my social medias Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We got the topics on the floor. Let's get straight into it. Dope Boy TV gang and notification squad, welcome back to another video, man. And thanks for joining, man. But we do got some rather unfortunate news to be reporting on, man. We do got. Man, we do got the death of another, you know, Dallas rapper that goes by the name of Lil Loaded. Now, a lot of people might know of him and a lot of people might not because he was pretty hot. And I can't even sit here and say that he was, you know, starting up his career because he was very established. And he had a hit song called Block Baby a week ago. He just dropped another hit with, you know, another popular Florida rapper who is on fire right now who was hot boy and it just looked like he was on the way up and you know I have did many videos on Lil Loaded because he rocks with um you know TBG you know Fredo Bang Yoshi and all them and they were some of the first people to you know really co-sign that man when he first first came out and, you know he did have a song that was a hit called Block Baby and a lot of people might know about that it's like six block baby on the block block you know and it's a very tragic situation because clearly Lil Loaded was dealing with a lot more than people expected or even knew about because this man was reportedly alleged. I just want to throw that out there at the moment because it's not too many, you know, factual details on it. But man, it's alleged that this man did take his own life because of his significant other. And, you know, it's a very tragic situation because when when it comes to you know your significant other especially when it comes to your girlfriend wife whatever you want to call it you know that might be something that especially as a dude with pride and things of that nature might keep inside and not even want to speak on to you know the homies or even some of the closest people he got to him you know because he might not want to seem weak or you know things of that nature because at the end of the day this man is looked at as a stand-up man he's a part of a um you know, a crew, a music crew. He just started, you know, basically like a own label or let me say he started a highway for his people to eat and he was putting on. And it's crazy because a lot of people are feeling some type of way. His friend did, you know, say a lot about him. Basically, EBK Chirac, which is a good friend, popular. Another popular Dallas artist was talking about, you know, Lil Loaded basically telling him about how he felt about his girl in the studio one time, you know, and how he really loved her. And it's crazy because people will take advantage when they know that you do feel some type of way about them. You get what I'm saying? People will take advantage. And it look at it. I, I can't lie and sit here and say it looked like it's, but it does look like that was a situation that presented itself. And, you know, EBK Chirac was like, my dude killed himself because of a, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I hate this so much. I'm so up about bro that my dude took his told me in the studio last month that somebody this girl you know and he was feeling like he wanted to take his own life and it's crazy because you know it's it's all type of reports at the moment saying that this man um unfortunately did od or take his own life but man if you read the little heartfelt message that he did put out the last post he put on his instagram he was speaking from the heart and I wish somebody that I wish somebody was there with him that could have, you know, talked to him in person because like people don't understand. You can call somebody. I'm pretty sure somebody seen that, called him, text him, whatever. But like a face to face is way more important or it can help way more because at the end of the day, people might forget that this man was dealing with a lot that could have built up to this. Like he was dealing with a court case. If people don't forget, he was on ankle monitor. He was dealing with a court case of killing his bet, one of his best friends on accident, trying to record a music video. And, pro and y'all don't understand that when he did that, he was getting blamed by half of the people that he probably really cared about and loved. Looking at him like he did it on purpose. When he, you feel me, he hurting inside because he got to deal with this himself. He got to sleep at night knowing that he, you, you know what I'm saying, accidentally took somebody he really loved and he got to live with that on his conscience. And then he got the people that's supposed to be so-called in this corner turning against him. And then at the end of the day, bro, he probably felt like he had, the only people he had in this corner was himself and his girl. You get what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, bro, when you're going through 
life, when you're going through anything, especially when you're a man, bro, and you go through certain situations like having to go sit down for a minute, go to prison, jail, you feel me? You'll really find out who there for you because at the end of the day, bro, like your parents, your siblings might be there, but you know who for surely is going to be there. And this is just my opinion because it happens so often is that your girl. So you might put a you might put a little more trust in your girl than the homies. You might, you know, she gonna be there when they not. You know, she gonna do stuff that they not. So you're gonna put another trust level in her. So probably when he felt like he didn't have nobody in his corner, she was there. She was there. So he he put he put certain he put certain trust levels, loyalty levels into her, and she betrayed him. And and you gotta understand when he didn't and at that time. He had people on his side, but at that time in his mind, he had nobody on his side. And the last person he thought he did traded on him, in my opinion. And this could have drove this man to take his own life, which is a very unfortunate situation. And I do want to say condolences going out to that man, family and friends and supporters, because I'm one of his supporters. I love this man music. I was rocking with him. I, I'm looking at him and I'm looking at him do songs with N.O. Lee Chopper and look Lit Yoshi and you know Hot Boy. And I'm like, man, this man is about to put on for Dallas. And I want to give my condolences to Dallas as a whole, because at the end of the day, y'all just lost two popular, tremendous rappers, man. Real, real legends in their own way, bro. Straight up, man. Mo3, rest in peace, a real Texas legend. Lil Loaded putting on. At a young age, the man died at 20. It's a crazy situation. Where we got all these people losing their lives. And it's like, this is just goes back to the situation where we got to talk about mental healthness. Mental health. Because at the end of the day, something mentally was bothering this man. And I'm pretty sure it was signs that somebody probably seen like, dang, Loaded tripping, you know, something off about Loaded for the last couple of days. Hey, y'all seen that about Loaded for the last, hey, you, woo, woo. And, you know, they probably rubbed it off because at the end of the day, you got people who do perks and all type of drugs and this and that. So you're like, oh, bro, probably coming down. He off, of, you know, he was just off one of them jiggers last night. He coming down off that high, woo, woo, woo. They just giving him his space when he really need you as close as possible, man. But, bro, that's my opinion on the situation, man. I will keep y'all updated, hopefully, man, when his parents do want to, un, un, you get what I'm saying, release the information on what really factually happened to him from it being him ODing to him taking his own life to him even, you know, getting hit up by somebody else because a lot of people are saying that might have happened too. But at the end of the day, we lost a real, true Dallas legend. And at the end of the day, you could say whatever, but this man been putting on for years. Not and I mean years like this man wasn't as popular. He was on the underground, you know, putting on. But when he got his platform, he was doing it slowly but surely, in my opinion, man. And he was on his way up, man, on his way to take over for Texas. Get what I'm saying? A young dude oh, on his way, got a lot of years ahead of him. In a tragic situation like this, just took his life like nothing. And it's crazy because it, a lot of people are. <sighs> Man, it's crazy because, man, allegedly his birthday is today, man. Happy birthday, Lil Loaded. You know what I'm saying? His birthday was, you feel me, going to be today, and he took his life yesterday. Or it's going to be tomorrow, allegedly. And it's just a crazy situation. When you look at it like that, like this, if it is true, and I understand why the parents might feel some more type of way if, if they son birthday was tomorrow and he took his life right before his birthday, man, that hurt even harder. Because they was planning stuff. You feel me? About to celebrate greatness, accomplishments. You feel me? Beating the odds. They was about to celebrate all that, man. And Lil Loaded felt some type of way. Was dealing with some mental issues, allegedly. Or or just, you know, not feeling as well as he should have. And didn't have the help that he needed at the time that he did, man. But y'all, let me know how y'all feel about this whole situation, man. I'm going to keep y'all updated. Rest in peace, Lil Loaded, man. Rest in peace, Mo3, man. Condolences going out to family and friends and for surely Dallas as a whole because y'all are taking losses, man. So, man, let's all pray for that family, man. Keep our heads up, man. Make sure y'all send condolences and good messages to the family because they're dealing with a lot. Rest in peace, Lil Loaded. You will never be forgotten, man.